Hurt you, little one. I was there, and I heard too. So come. No good thing will I withhold from those who love me. According to my purpose for their lives, I have not forsaken anyone. People forsake me. They don't trust me when their prayers aren't answered according to their advantage as they see it. This causes so many to fall away from me. They have no concept of how I love them or how I infinite my wisdom is. Rather, they blame me for the things that go wrong in their lives. Even though it is Satan who is the culprit, they come to me and pray that things would be different. But I cannot answer them with what they want, because I see the path ahead. I know the road they must travel. I know you loved you before the creation of time. Will Trust me. Will you trust me? I know you loved you before the creation of time. To those who are atheist, you have been jaded by phony Christians or Christians less perfect. Yet when atheists act badly, it goes unnoticed. I wish you would apply the same standard that you use for your atheist brothers and sisters that you apply to my children. I wish I could tell you my children aren't any more perfect than you are, but they are forgiven, and many. Many are trying to change with my help. You don't always see what's behind a Christian's life. You don't see what they were like before I got a hold of them. I never 
change Believe in me or don't Believe in me or don't I am the truth of life the way the truth the life the way the truth the life the way Swept me away, made me whole again. Love came into my life, the kind of love I've always dreamed of, a holy loving companion. Yes, beloved, I came, revealed myself to you and who you were to me so special so very special you never had anyone treat you like this you never had anyone understand you like others you never felt secure in your life until I entered into your heart you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am God you have nothing better to do than to hang around with you guiding you protecting you, teaching you about my kingdom. Be unafraid, unashamed, let me love you. I don't see the sin of your past, your future or your present. All I see is a soul I love, a soul I die for. A soul I desire Let me love you Let me love you Let me love you Unafraid, unashamed My children who have been hurt by the church. Your church experience was not any better than any other experiences. You weren't accepted there any more than you were accepted in the non-Christian community. But one thing you did is you have a personal relationship with me. You touched the hem of my garment day after day. And through that you survived the bad things that have happened to you even in the church. You see, religion and God bear no resemblance to one another. Religion is a system fostered by men to get closer to God, whereas I embrace you without rules and regulations, even without the knowledge of my name. There are those who know me in their hearts and spirits and follow all I ask them to do. Then someday, when it's time, when the time is ripe, I will reveal myself to them. Yet there are others who have been handled so roughly in their lives, they have no hope of love or being accepted. I must surprise them with my love. I must take them in a moment they are least expecting and shower them with my profound, unconditional love. There are many who blame me for every bad thing that has happened in their lives because they don't want to give up on their sin. Somewhere inside their hearts they hear my voice, but the world and its allurement overpower them and they ignore it until it's too late. 
I'm always calling, always waiting, always with them, wanting to bring healing to their lives. But they must be at least be willing to give up sin and receive my love. The pleasures of the flesh call much more loudly than I, so I must wait until the flesh is old and weak. But even when, and there's no guarantee that the bitterness they're holding unto will allow them to hear me. So I'll allow them to languish in nursing homes until I can reach them and bring them home. Oh, how sad it is when a soul has closed the door on my love and has nothing in this world to turn to. Alone, abandoned many times through their own fault, they're so convinced of their own personal righteousness that there's no room for repentance. All is the fault of others. They were the innocent victims, and God is to blame for everything. Perfect love Cast out fear Perfect love Cast out fear No fear I want you to love the unlovable, my children. Go out of your way for those who have rejected me. Be my hands, my feet, my mouth, my ears. At least in that final moment, I can reason with them. I can remind them of your kindness, even when they didn't deserve it. This many times is the very last straw on their resistance and they break. A flood of tears, a deep knowledge of their sins, an even greater knowledge of how enormously special they are to me. So special that I endure torture to bring them to heaven with me forever. I treasure them, I love them, and I embrace them, never to part. These are the days when many souls will be rescued in this way. That is why I am constantly admonish you to love the unlovable, my children. They are the most destitute of all, even and especially those who have known wealth. So many questions So many questions Why God is there suffering? Why God is there death and woe? If you're so good God If you're so good God Why, why, why? Are you a cruel, a loving God? So many questions So little answers Why God? Why God? Why God? tears why so many trials why God why God I am blamed for all the terrible things the Israelites were committed to do refusing to care to find out why I did what I did when I ordered the armies to murder men women and children and just totally wipe them out of town. People don't understand that. That's why they see me as being too harsh or terrible God. They did not hear the terrifying heart-rending screams of infants when they laid in red-hot metal bows and sacrificed to Molech. They did not see the perversion the people had with the animals. Not even the animals could escape their wickedness. 
They did not see the mating rituals with demons who impregnated them with evil and demonic powers. Little has been understood down through the ages as to why my people had to destroy every living thing. Yet my word is not lacking in explanation. I make it clear that the wickedness was beyond repair. And now you are approaching the days of Noah. As it was in the days of Noah, yes, every perversion of wickedness will be allowed by the law. Fondling children, sex with animals, men with men, woman with woman, all of it is coming. Just as surely as I am, it is here, but still shunned, not for long. The laws that have been signed are in the works so will make every detestable practice more legal than pornography. Now there will be no age limit. All may come and see and try it for themselves. After all, it brings pleasure, and pleasure is your right and your freedom. Can you hear my heart breaking? Can you hear my heart breaking? Can you hear my heart breaking? Little words tell them who I am. Show them. I'm calling to you, my children, my wayward ones. Forsake your loneliness. Forsake the lies, the darkness, the confusion. Come, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden. You will find rest for your soul and unconditional love for your heart. I will never turn you away, never. I will never forsake you, never. Rather, your life shall grow brighter and brighter, going from glory to glory. I'm not a man that I shall lie have good in store for you, not evil, have gifts and talents for you, things you long to do. Who do you suppose put those longings in you? Now I want to bring fulfillment and happiness to your life. Your sins have only brought you grief and disappointment. It's time to make a change, time to release all the old baggage and start anew, fresh, born again. I'm calling to you, my lost ones. Come to me. I'll embrace you and ring you round with songs and gladness and thanksgiving for returning to the very womb that bore you. Yes, I will dress you in fine linen, place a ring upon your finger, sandals upon your feet, and we shall walk together as one. Just tell me you're tired of being hurt, tired of hurting others, that you're sorry for the simple things you've done. Ask me for forgiveness, that they hand over your life to me. I will cherish you, I will lead and guide you, I will never forsake you. I will lead you by the hand into eternal joy in my Father's kingdom in heaven forever. <laughs>